This video is brought to you by Play Your Court. All right, so Miami is upon us. We've got the Miami draw. I know that Indian Wells literally finished minutes ago or hours ago, depending on when you're watching this, but Miami has already started. The women's draw is out, so let's go through the withdrawals for the women's draw, and then we'll get to the draw itself. Starting with the withdrawals, we have big names pulling out of this one. Barty, she's out, who's the defending champion, so she's gone. Uh, we've got Christian, Gracheva, Krejcikova, the second seed, or what would have been the, one of the top seeds. Uh, she's out. Osorio is out. Interesting. Pavlyuchenkov is out. Pedersen and Petkovic are all out of this one. So, some big names in that one. You know, some informed players and some big names, including that defending champion of Barty. Top of the draw. We have 32 seeds in this one, so it's exactly the same as Indian Wells. It's a, It should be the sixth Grand Slam, I guess. 32 seeds, top 32 seeds, all 32 seeds, get a buy in the first round. Sabalenka, she's the number one seed, buy in the first round. She'll take the winner of Baptist versus Bagu, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Sasnovich. Winner of that takes on Kazakina, the number 25 seed in the second round. Then we've got Bedzic, the number 22 seed. She gets a buy in the first round, takes on Van Utvang or Kostjuk, who are going at it in the first round. Uh, then we've got Watson versus Ruse. Winner of that plays the number 15 seed, Svetlina in the second round. Look, this part of the draw is wide open because, I mean, some of these players have had moments this year, but for the most part, these players have not played well, especially Sabalenka. So I don't know who gets out of this part of the draw. It's uh, it, it's wide open. It could be a seed. It could be a qualifier. <laughs> it's it's super open for me. Second part of the draw, we have Raducanu, the number 11 seed up the top of the draw, uh, up the top of this part of the draw. She gets a bye. In the first round, she'll play either a qualifier or Siniakova in the second round. Then we've got Minnan versus Saville. Winner of that play, Simona Halep, number 23 seed. So you can see we will get Raducanu Halep in the third round. Maybe. We've been that close so many times. Again, one win, one win each, and they make it into the third. Let's see if it happens. Then we've got Georgie, the 27 seed. She'll play the winner of a qualifier versus Tomanovic. Then we've got Montgomery versus a qualifier. Winner of that plays number six seed, Pliskova. Now, we're basing it on form. Halep's in form. She's in the best form in this part of the draw, but she also is injured. So let's see how injured she is uh, after that match against Fiontech. Top part of the second quarter of the draw. The number three seed, Condivate, by in the first round. Uh, she'll take on the winner of Lee versus Sharif. We're going out in the first round. Then we've got Teichman taking on Risk. Winner of that match takes on the 32nd, uh, 31st seed, Cornet, in the second round. Then we've got Fernandez, the 18th seed. She will play either Mukova or Martin Kova in the second round. Then we've got Osaka taking on Sharma. Winner of that match will take on number 13 seed, Angelique Kerber. There she is, Osaka, the most dangerous unseeded player in the draw. She has, like, Sharma's not easy, but she could get through Sharma, play Kerber, and then play Fernandez. I mean, that is a crazy start to this tournament if it happens. Osaka Fernandez rematch, even Kerber Fernandez rematch from the US Open last year. She played both of them. She beat both of them in epic fashion. So very fun matches in this part of the draw, not to mention Contivate is gonna play the winner of probably one of those ladies in the fourth round. Next part of the draw now, we've got Collins, the number nine seed defending, or oh, Australian Open finalist. She's back, haven't seen her for a while. She'll take on either Garcia or Bondera in the second round. Then we've got Doi versus a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the number 19 seed, Zedinshek in the second round. Then we've got Tormo, the 32nd seed. She takes on either Kanepi or Zanevska, who are going out in the first round. Then we've got Lynette versus Zhang. Winner of that match takes on the number eight seed, Ons Jabor, in the second round. So Collins, good to see her back. We haven't seen her for a long, long time. Uh, it feels like, I think she's played maybe one tournament since Australia. So let's see if she can use that form again. Um, you know, Tormo's been good. Also Jabor as well. So this is an interesting part of the draw. I think the seeds will progress, though, in this part. Bottom half of the draw, the top half, or the top of the bottom half. Number five seed, Badossa. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Sigmund or Sigimund or uh, a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Putin Seva versus the wild card, Shunk. Winner of that match takes on the number 30th seed, Von Drusseva, in the second round. Von Drusseva, Badossa, third round could be fun. That's a fun matchup. Uh, then we've got Mertens, the number 20 seed. She'll take on either the wild card, uh, Fruvitova, who is the sensation, the teenage sensation that everyone keeps pumping up. Uh, we'll see how she does. Uh, she takes on Kovinich in the first round. Then we've got Alexandrova taking on Paulini. Winner of that match takes on the number 12 seed, Victoria Azarenka. So Azarenka versus Badossa, which was the uh, Indian Wells final last year, that could be a, th a fourth round in this one. 
Uh, very interesting to see how that one plays out, especially Pedosa, who's in some good form right now. Next section of the draw, we've got the number 16 seed Pagula taking on either Udvardi or Stevens, who are going at it in the first round after well, she gets a bye in the first round. Then we've got Ruse versus Conju versus... Uh, we've got Ruse versus Conju. Winner of that match takes on the number 17 seed, Rabakina, in the second round. Then we've got Keys, the 26 seed. She awaits the winner of Kennen, who gets a wild card, taking on Kalanina. Then we've got Maya versus Diaz. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Maria Sakkari. So Maria Sakkari, fresh off that final at Indian Wells today. She is, I mean, she's in a tough draw. Keys is not easy. Um, in the, maybe in the third round. Rebecca, she just had to play her in the fourth round. Uh, she played her in the quarterfinals here at Indian Wells. So we'll see if she has to play her again. And then Badossa in the quarterfinals, a rematch of the semifinals of this week's Indian Wells. So Zachary's going to have to beat a lot of familiar faces uh, to get through, but she's got the confidence of beating them already, so maybe she can keep going. Muguruza, number seven seed. She takes on a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it in the first round. Then we've got Burrell taking on another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number 28 seed, Kvitova, in the second round. Then we've got the number 21 seed, Kudamatova. She gets a bye in the first round, of course. Winner of that, uh, she'll take on the winner of a qualifier versus Kuchova, who's going out in the first round. And Nisimova takes on Rogers. Winner of that match takes on the number 10 seed, Ostapenko, who was very disappointing at Indian Wells last week. And it's going to be fun. I, I don't know who's going to win that one uh, against even Rogers versus Ostapenko. It's still fun. Uh, and this is over Ostapenko, still fun. I, I don't know who's going to win those. This part of the draw is open, pretty wide open. I think Kudamatova is in the best form, but that doesn't really mean anything because Miami, Indian Wells are totally different events uh, in terms of court speed and, and conditions. So you know, just because you played well last week, it might not translate onto the onto the faster Miami surface. And the bottom section of the draw, the number 14 seed, Goff, takes on either Kruger or a qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got Zhang versus Towson. Winner of that takes on Kastea, the 24th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 29th seed, Samsonova. She takes on either the wild card uh, Iala or Brengel in the second round. Uh, then we've got a qualifier taking on Golubic. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, an Indian Welsh champion, Iga Sviontek. Look, Sviontek, I mean, it's hard to go past her in this tournament. She's going to be the favorite, I think, no doubt about it. But... Um, can she back it up? I mean, she, can she go back to back over, you know, over four weeks of playing tennis? It's a lot of tennis. Uh, you know, can she maintain uh, her level uh, over the next two weeks and just keep doing what she's been doing over the last few weeks? So it's not going to be easy. Uh, for me, the bottom section of the draw is stacked. I think the bottom section is where the winner comes from. Before we get back to the video, let me tell you about Play Your Court. We've teamed up with them this year and they're a great service. You've probably seen some of their ads here and there around the internet. Uh, they're actually a great service for if you are a tennis player and you want to actually learn how to play tennis, uh, you can get coaching from them uh, anywhere in the US. Or if you're just looking for somebody to have a hit with, that's one of the pet peeves I have with tennis is that it's hard to find a hitting partner unless you want to hit against the brick walls. So we've teamed up with them. If you use our link down below, playyourcourt.com slash tennis talk, you'll get 50% off your membership. So go check it out. Uh, it's a great resource. All right, now let's get back to the video. You think hard hitter in Miami, you know, maybe it's going to be a hard hitter. Maybe it's going to be... Maybe Sabalenka comes good. Maybe Contivate, you know? She doesn't mind playing on the fast indoor surfaces. Maybe she can translate that in Miami. Maybe Zachary. She played well here last year in Miami, so... Uh, uh, or can Sviontek go back-to-back? -back? Which would be incredible if she does. So, uh, there you go. Miami draw. Woo! Interesting to see how it plays out. We're going to be watching it, obviously. Obviously, we're watching it. Uh, yeah, it'll be, could she go for the three in a row, Sviontek? That's the big thing. She's got a massive win streak. She is doing a raffle. 